back to some more PSGL action today. We're here on a Tuesday night. You know what it is by now. It's the PSGL FP season. Season 23, round 4 of this season. I'm certainly looking forward to this. Um, I should be joined by JP Greenwood in the comms in a minute, but he hasn't joined just yet, so it's just me for now, and hopefully it's going to be a good race. I'm just doing the set title, just editing the title, so it's nice and easy and professional when doing the title. Just getting the stream up on my computer so I can um, see all the comments. I'm just going to share the links out. We've got 17 drivers in at the moment. They're currently a Williams, a Racing Point, and the Haas are all still free. It's currently 8.02, so hopefully, hopefully it does. Or we get going any second now. JP, I have invited you to the comms, so if you can join, I have invited you to the session and the commentary. So I'm just going to share the links out, as I said, in all the PSGL related chats I am in. So, PSGL F1, PSGL C23 admin. So stream out streams out there. Hopefully you guys can all hear me. Hopefully audio's alright on my end. But let's get ready for some action. Where is JP Greenwood? I've invited you, JP. What account do you want? JP Greenwood or LR Speedwood? Invited you to the party. You have to ask the admin AMS. I did invite JP, so I don't know what's going on with him. Don't know what he's doing. If he joins, he joins. If he don't, then he don't. But did forward himself so yeah I'm just gonna retweet the tweet PS job put out okay, seen drivers in now that's why you're looking at bloody yellow I can't JP There's your both your accounts invited to lobby and the party. Hopefully we can get going any minute now. Got nine people tuning in so far before you've even started, so that's in very impressive to see. Thank you for all your pe all the people joining. And we have got JP joining the party. Hello JP. Hello. Just make sure your voice Hi, isn't man. allowed to be shared for. Pretty sure. Um I've just had a message, Edward. I'm I'm racing tonight, so what car are you in? The the um, the racing point. Oh, so you're going to be racing in the racing point? Fair enough. I would have liked to have raced in the Williams, but unfortunately, I can't because I have to stream. But it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, hang on a minute, then. Give a bit of live track action, but. Nah.
Right, in that case then, mate, I am sorry to leave you, and maybe another time. I'll, um, I'll see you in the podium interviews. <laughs> see you later. Well, that is unfortunately, but good luck to JP, who makes his FP return racing in the racing point. It's unfortunate for me, but see how he does. Teammates with flying from currently in the Mercedes for tonight. We have Sati, DCSC, and Juho Finn. Ferrari, Viking, Steven, and Blue Jean, or Blue Jean, however you say it. In the Red Bull, we have Dino and ERT Bliss. The red Renault and this feel, this seems very nice. Tom AJ ninety one and CC Brain. The Haas is Jamie two nine oh five and Ray Bay. McLaren Boomer and Warren Haig. Racing points for and JP Speedwood or LR Speedwood. Alpha Mayo, Lordy and F one Sophie. Now that's a bit of a questionable. I wanna put Lordy a little higher up, maybe swapped in with Tom AJ. But it is what it is. Ugi is even Bugatti in the Shooter Rosso and Cliffy 7765, the lone Rocket Williams racing for tonight. And yes, Steve, a poor little being left by himself once again. But I've had to do it a few times this season, so it was bound to come back my way. Anyway, I hope it all goes well. I'll check the allocations now. According to AMS, the Renault is slow. I, just, I, I might try. I, I feel that's a bit interesting. I might try that a little later. See if the Renault is slower than the Alfa Romeo. Well, JP, if you do DNF, remember you're always welcome to rejoin in the comms. It's up to you, mate. Well, good luck. Well, we're just waiting for Bugatti to ready up. And you know what? I'm going to give my predictions for tonight. So I'm going to go for, if you don't get damaged, Bugatti first. CC Brain second. Ugi Azim third. And yes, Cliffy, you will have to change your YouTube after, sadly, leaving ILRT. <laughs> but what you have to do, it's, up, it's better for you if you don't feel like league racing. Or don't have the time to, which all the drivers did appreciate. Well, looks a very, very dry qualifying at the moment here in Canada. Hopefully, it's a bit of rain, and we'll see. Tony, what lap times have you been? Have, if you've done any laps, what times have you set in the Williams? Because I'd be interested to compare times. Who's coming out of the pits? Is that uh? Who's on the out there? I think it's a Renault. Alright. I don't have any engine. Oh my god. I don't have any engine sound. So can someone send me an invite please? I have no engine sound. I'm going to need someone to send me an invite to the lobby. Hopefully I can. Luckily, I have Frome's in right still. I didn't have en any engine sound. So I best to get out of the way while no one's doing a lap. Thanks for that, Cliffy. I'll keep that as a backup in case it happens again. But we want to hear engine sounds for 18 minutes. We don't want to hear pure quiet. It's just my voice. Rejoin it during quality doesn't get rid of it. Well, Jamie, we'll we'll see now if it gets rid of it, mate. And it has, Jamie. So that has gone very well. Who was who was I watching for? They who was I watching for? I, they I had to rejoin the lobby. I think it it's Bliss. Yeah, we'll go. We'll watch ERC Bliss in the Red Bull. On the medium compound tyres here in Canada. Canada, good track in real life. A lot of struggles with the brakes. Is Bliss 
gets a feel up for the wall there. 19 6 first sector, so not too bad for him. This corner can be very harsh if you run no ABS or even on traction. But Bliss looks quite clean at the moment, as he comes into one of the easier corners to get in than this. And he's cut that, and that may be an invalid on Bliss. So let's just have a double check. ERT Bliss. No, you got. Wow, you got away with it. 41.7 middle set, so not too bad for him as he shifts up early. The Red Bull coming f down to the Wall of Champions, a corner that caught me out last night, unfortunately, where I did misjudge someone's braking and put my car where I shouldn't and ended up in the barriers. But here comes Bliss. That looks very committed. Right up against the wall and front wing damage for Bliss. And it's a 110 one. What about Tom AJ? Tom AJ straight out on the soft tyre, so is, does he know something we don't? Is it going to be raining? Is it going to be raining during the race? We just don't know. Ugazim has gone pole position on a 109.6. And Tom AJ in the Renault. Up to the line, he sets a 110.6, and he's struggling. Lord MK on the hards. Let's see the Alfa Romeo driver. The man who feels like he's been a bit harshly done by by this car. Let's see. He's going to have to part with it for this race. Looked quite nice there from him. He'll be able to maybe just get within a couple of tenths of Viking and Steven possibly. If he can do that, I reckon he'll be happy with that. He's out of the hairpin he goes. And now on the run to the wall of the championship. We've got yellows in sector 2. I wonder if that's for someone backing off. Or for someone crashing it. The yellow flags did go quite quickly, so I imagine it was just someone getting out of the way. So on his he comes into the wall of champs. Looked nice from him there. Opens up his DRS. Doesn't take the shorter run to the line. He sets a 111 free. And oh, it's Warren Egg goes going off. But yeah, that's a good effort from him. I want to turn my attention to Bugatti. So we get a nice little slipstream here from this car. I wonder who it is it's flying from. That may be invalid. I think that's definitely invalid on Bugatti's end. But anyway, on the run to the line, Bugatti, yeah, he would have had pole, but unfortunately, he did get invalid. What about Cliffy? The Canada specialist. He's been known as one free season row in the PSGL F1 league, and here he comes today looking to maybe replicate that in the FP league. CC Brain in the Renault, out the Water Champs, and he goes third behind Frome and Ugi Azim. Who else is on one? Jamie. Uh, Cliffy's on one. What about Miles Cleverly Drabe? The man driving in front of his home crowd for the second time this week in the Hass F1 car. See how he could do. He, how definitely he would love to get a podium in front of his home crowd. Bit like Kamui Kobayashi in Japan. If he could do it today, I'm sure the whole crowd would be chanting Drabe's name. So he comes into the wall of champs. Now let's see what Kevin Magnussen done in the house in real life. Dre taking the shortest run to the line. Goes ninth fastest. Interestingly behind Viking Steven and Lordy. So not too bad from him to be fair. Let's see. Didn't see his first set the time. What's his first set the time? Two tenths down roughly on his first set. That we've got yellow since set one. And that's going to be an invalid from Lordy. Jamie, unfortunately, to get invalid. Who else could be on one? Blue John. Blue John, 199 first sector. So he's looking quite strong. In that Ferrari. His teammates currently sitting night for the 111.6 on the mediums. On the hard, sorry. Run the hairpin, he comes. Oh, looks like he's about to hit the wall. Bit of understeer there. Let's see. Shooter rear Ferrari, the fastest engine on the whole F1 grid. So, this is going to be the best part for him. Coming down into the wall of champs now. Well, within track limits. Didn't look, he could have pushed a little harder. Sorry for the dog barking in the background. And he sets an 11 227. So, not too bad from him. Sutty in the Mercedes. 
19.5 first sector, so he's looking quite quick on those mediums. For people who are new to F1, I'll just give you a quite a quick rundown on what the tyres are. So the red tyres are the soft tyres, they're the tyres that don't last the longest, but offer the most amount of grip for anyone out there. Then you have the mediums, they they last they last an average amount of time and give about average amount of grip, they're the middle compound and then the hard tires, the slower tires, but offer the least last log and offer the least amount of grip. ERT Bliss into the wall of champs. I expect this to be somewhere near the front. Bliss out of the final corner up to the line. So one and nine two goes pole by four tenths of a second. I can't see that being beaten anytime soon. What about Juho Finn? The man's gained the title Juho Spin so far. And this man really has been struggling on this game. We looking to put that away. He almost did hit the wall there. So I think Juho's lap is going to be over. 20.6 first sector from here. What, was he? what about Cliffy? Coming out just ahead of a car. So luckily they didn't get blocked this time. It's going to be a very hard challenge for Cliffy to replicate his win in Formula Canada in the slowest car up against a barrier and that looks quite weird through the first set of 20.3 looks good from Cliffy see so come through the middle set now up for, that third gear up to fourth that might have been invalid on Cliffy said I'll just check because there it's very easy if you run off there to get an invalid and yes it is so Cliffy now is going to have two invalidated lap times to his name what about Bugatti? 19 free from him in the first sector that's very quick gonna have to stick on board with him Bugatti really has taken this game a lot better than last game he's getting a lot quicker expect him to be up the front and that looks very nice from him if that weren't invalid he's gonna get a nice little toe from the racing point up ahead of Throne once again Throw giving him tipsy on two laps what it seems. Throw who was very strong here at F4. He's getting out of the way of Bugatti. Can throw transition the four from F4 to FP? We've got to wait and see. But Bugatti got a little slipstream there. The Honda engine's not the range. It's like the fastest down here. It's into the water champs he goes. Looks quite nice from him. Can he challenge ERT Bliss? To the line. It's a 1093. That's a great effort from Bugatti. <coughs> He's going to be really happy with that effort. What about Flag? You know what? Let's go to Flag and Throw him now. Pushing hard through there. That looked very quick. 19 3 was the first sector from Bugatti. He says a 19 5, so he's two tenths slower at the moment. But this way, the racing point here, and then the final sector will come into his space. We'll come into his place, sorry. The Mercedes engine over the Honda engine. But that may have been invalid, I don't know. It looked very on the edge there, cutting the corner. Got to wait and see. He's the 10th and a bit up on his lap still. So currently he's up, going to move up one position. He's got to really have a really, he's got to have a good final sector. If he wants to jump ahead of Bugatti. If he has a good final sector that jumps ahead of Bugatti, he has a very good chance of jumping ahead of Bliss as well and sticking that car on pole position. Let's see, throw him in the racing point. Into the water champs, that looks very committed from him. That I don't know. May have been invited, but throw him up to the line. Can he get pole? He has sneaked pole. What an effort from flying throw him in the racing point. 1092 from him. What a lap from him. CC Brain. The highest teammate at the moment. What can he do in qualifying? Can he stick it on the front row? No, he's coming into the pits to abandon the lap. Who else is on one? Blue John. Into the water champs now. This is where you can gain all your time. If you know it, it looked alright for Blue John. Up to the line. It says a 1097 on the mediums. So that could really be an indication that if he goes in the soft, he can snatch a pole position.
Smithy on the mediums. 19 5 for a second and not too bad from him. Open the DRS now, give him a bit of extra speed down the straight. Oh, could, that looks very clear, right up against the wall. Cliffy, 41 6 middle set. Middle set, he's going to get a little slip sheet from that red ball if he goes slow enough. See, Bliss goes pole, what did I dead? I didn't see it. More interested in watching this man. <coughs> <coughs> Cliffy up to the wall of champs. Cliffy out the final corner. Up to the line. It would have been a 109. Oh, it is a 1098 on the mediums. What an effort from him. He's going to be well happy with that. See, Viking Steven. It's on a slow one. Steven's lagged out. Oh, no. Not again. If I can actually, what can I, why can't I go up? Oh, okay, I have to use this. This ain't on one. What about Warren Haig? Warren Haig's on one, so he's here giving us a bit of action. 19-4 for sector two and a half tenths up through sector one. Right up against the barrier. Look, see how he does through here. Warren Haig in the Renault four tens up on his lap so currently this is only going to move him up to about P14 see Warren Haig up to the wall of champs now no one's crashed there will we claim a victim any minute now oh he's got a bit of damage look at that front wing flying and he's got invalid, I think. Duo Finn on an out lap. What about Boomer? Boomer is on when he's halfway through his lap. Yes, Boomer, the man who last time I commentated him in China. Well, I'm not sure what car he was in last week and where he finished, but he's been downgraded to a McLaren Viking like Steven does rejoin the session. Let's watch hometown favourite or home country to favourite. Dre Bay. In the hash driving American car. When he's Canadian. See what he can do. Through the first set in the 1970s. Four tenths up on his previous time. We got yellows in set the one. Stafford Juho Finn. No, it's not. opens the DRS now and comes into one of the trickier corners of this track you get this wrong you've either lost a bit of time end up in that barrier or getting it invalid looks quite good oh yeah Steven I'm going to show you a quick tutorial how to do this while Tracy is now so go down to your name Viking Steven go down to that option take control and then go to that one down one the one under Press take control and you can take control of your car. Anyway, Dre. Into the final corner. Debris there still on the track. What can Dre do? In the Haas. So 110-1. And that puts him 13th. It's definitely time to gain if he goes under. Soft tires and Jamie's messed that up. Boomer's on one again. And Stephen, let me know if you're in. Sophie retires. That looked decent for Boomer. Boomer in the McLaren on the run to the line. So it's a 110 0. It goes 10 fastest, just pushing Lordy out in 11th. Not sure how he'll be feeling about that. Right, good to hear you're in. Juho Finn. So I want to see where the leaders are. What about Bliss? Juho, Juho is just ahead, then we'll move to Bliss. Juho 43 4. 
got yellows in the set the three I imagine that's just due to cars backing up to get their lap started and a lot of cars go for the soft tyres so have we got a wet race and Juho pits so it's had to go to Bliss who's not he's got no ERS left so the tension's turned to fly in Frome can Frome fly in the racing point and put this car on points car gain two tenths two and a bit tenths from what he set and he's not on when he's coasted so eyes go to Ugi Azim next he's 55,000 down it's got to be a mega final she came from in looks all right from Ugi and he, he goes uh, he stays in fourth and just improves by a little amount says Nordy's finished but yeah he's done so I turn to Bugatti and he's off as well Bugatti's done so now Tom AJ Tom's done as well who can stop these drivers Cliffy's in eighth CC brain four and a half tenths up oh, four and a half tenths up he can really if he gets his final set the right he can put his car onto the second row of the grid maybe third place possibly even second see CC brain in the Renault to the water champs he goes looks quite nice from CC brain there on the run to line taking the shortest route what can he do it's second place for CC brain what about LR Speedwood Stays 18th, and that is qualifying done. What an anti climactic end to that qualifying. Loads of cars going slow on their final lap, messing it up, just putting the pressure on themselves. But ERT Bliss takes pole. Yeah, I do realize, Tom. I do realize, Tom. Anyway, here's a good one. ERT Bliss on pole. Second CC Brain, third Flyer Throne, fourth Bugatti, fifth Ugi Azim, sixth Dino, seventh Tom AJ, and then on the mediums, Blue John in eighth, Cliffy ninth, and Viking Steven tenth. Those three on mediums. And left, we got Boomer, so he'll get a free choice of tyres. Twelfth Lordy MK, thirteenth Stutty, fourteenth JB, fifteenth Rayway, sixteenth F1 Sophie, seventeenth Warren Hague, eighteenth LR Speedman, and then ran down the grid is Juho Finn. That is your grid. A lot of cars go for the sauce. A lot of cars go for the mediums. We don't know what the weather is for the race. Please don't ruin the weather because it could rain. It might not. I just don't know. Well, it looks pretty dry. It looks pretty dry here in Canada, unfortunately. I just mess received a message from Lordy, he's nervous. Nineteen seconds until the formation lap is underway. I'm gonna ask you who is gonna be your top three. Put it in the chat now. I'm interested to see who you think. I've said my three earlier on this year. I can't actually remember who I said now, so that's why I'm not gonna be saying it again. That qualifier really did have quite an anticlimactic end. The formation lap is underway. We'll get the tyres up for everyone now. So, we've got the top 10 side on the same tyres. Everyone outside the top 10 go for mediums, apart from Sutty and JP, or NR Speedman, who are on the sauce, and Juho Finn on the hard tyres. So, pretty clear. Some cars are going to be doing one stop. Some are going to be doing two. It really is going to be... Oh, God, just dropped the batteries at my remote. It really is going to be an interesting race. Can we see someone on the one-stop win this race by doing the less less stops than the guys out in front? I really don't know. I'm looking forward to this. I really am tight. Please, Grid, don't have a massive crash and let me down. If there's a massive crash, it will kill the race. Like Australia. We don't want that.
CERT Bliss. Taking his third pole in the season. But how many wins has he got from pole? Zero at the moment. Zero, I repeat. Zero. So he is going to be desperate to convert a pole for to the win. Third time lucky, possibly. Let's see. Penalty is going to be another big factor here. You saw how many cars got invalid into the on their final laps there. We've got cars ghosted inside each other. So many cars got invalid. It's easy to get penalties here. This race could be decided on penalties. We just don't know. Cars are laid up on the grid. Where is Juho? Juho is there. Not even in the Water Champs yet. Well, not even at the Water Champs. He is arriving there now. He's going to be the last car to pull up to the grid. It's a very sunny day in Can uh, Canada. Let's see how this race goes. Wait for the lights to come on. Now, the green flag is waved. The lights are on. It's one, it's two, three, four, and five. Away we go, lights out, and away we go. It's a good start from ERT Bliss. Not even being challenged into turn one. Top three stays the same. From losing out to Bugatti. JP's in a few places at the back. Yellow's in down back. Warren Haig, I think it is. Looks like a clean start otherwise. Any collisions through here? We've got cars side by side. Who's going to come out on top? Got Williams of Cliffy round the outside of Viking Steven. He's kept hold of P9. But Steven is all over his rear trying to get past him. He's going to go down the inside. Viking Steven on Cliffy. Oh, we got a car in the wall. It's the Ferrari. Is it? It's Blue John. Blue John out of the Canadian Grand Prix. Losing the car. And if that don't bring out a safety car, I'm not going to be surprised. Got Bugatti getting past CC Brain. Up the inside to the hairpin, but he's gonna have to break. Bliss has had a dream start. Have a guy made up two. Let's get the position change up on lap one. We've got Bugatti being big gainer, Jamie and LR Speeder and Juho Finn all gaining three uh, positions. And interestingly, Cliffy's already out of the DRS. Go. I watched Jamie, he's on the back of Boomer on the, in the McLaren. Boomer's had a decent start. Bit of lag going on there. It's very easy to hit the barrier there. I wonder if anyone's got any front wing damage. Down the inside goes Jamie. There's a bit of contact with the front wing. Let's see Lordy. Jamie rejoins the track dangerously. And here we go. Haas versus Alpha Romeo. Now Lordy versus Jamie. He's going to come out on top. He's going to back out. It's going to be Lordy. Lordy backs out, hoping Jamie makes a mistake. And he can't get it done, but Jamie's all over the back of Boomer. Down the inside, he goes into the hairpin. Looks like he's going to get the move done. You know, watch this from Lordy's perspective. Jamie's just out dragging that McLaren with the Renault engine. The Ferrari engine much faster on the straights. And Jamie pulls across. He's got the move done. Bliss sets the fastest lap. It's looking all good from there. CCC Brain. Be looking to get that past Bugatti. After, has Bugatti got any damage? No, he doesn't. Right up against that wall. And I'll be interested to see DRS enabled. Throw on the back of CC Brain, I really can see Throbe getting past Brain here, just due to the better engine. But Throbe did, oh, CC Brain did get the better run out there, so he is still in front of him. Cliffy caught up to Tom, and with the Mercedes engine against the Renault engine, could it be a similar situation if Throbe gets onto the back of CC Brain? All going to be one massive DRS train from Bugatti all the way down to Viking Steven. But Bugatti's always broke the DRS. In fact, I want to see Throbe because Throbe is catching it.
Viker Steve has lagged out again. Yo's in set to three. Who is it? It's Cliffy. Cliffy's the wrong way round. The Canada specialist has lost his wing. And is that race over for the Williams driver? It is. He's been disqualified. Cliffy 7765. He's just retired from most leagues. And now, I'm pretty sure this is going to put him fully into retirement. What a terrible end to a terrible Grand Prix start for him. He's going to be absolutely furious with Codemasters for giving him the black flag there. Now it's time to watch Dino on the back of Frome, interestingly. Cliffy, he's had he has no words of trouble to describe that. Nor do you get him passed up into tenth place. Oh thrown passing CC brain. Need to watch Warren Hagen off speedwood. JP holds on him but brushes the wall. Is that any damage for him? Oh, what's going on at the front? There's so many battles all over the place. CC Bray. Oh, there's contact. What's happened up here? And Tom AJ wiggles his way through. Oh, Uki Azim. Uki Azim. Uki Azim. He spins CC Brain around. And that's surely going to be a penalty for the man from Pakistan. He's absolutely killed CC Brain and ruined his race. I think could it be time for Ugi to hang out with gloves. Making more mistakes than usual is the man. As being passed by Lordy. Lordy down the inside of Dino. He's through. Lordy up to P6. What a start this man's had. And now Sophie getting past Ugi. Oh, will we see any pit lane shenanigans? So these two both have to pit. And interestingly, Bugatti's not gaining on Bliss. This is looking all good for Bliss so far. Just don't bolt with Bliss and you can finally get a win in FD. Nickel, can you show tyres please? Yes, I can. There are your tyres. Tyre situation at the moment. Juho Finn's had a decent start to be fair to him. Definitely had to go long on though. See, Boomer. On the back of Lordy, but Lordy, in fact, is gaining on Jamie. Let's see what Boomer can do. Boomer is a wise head of him. He won't go for anything silly. Interestingly, not many time headings have popped up yet. And I'd be expecting a lot more at this stage, but I think I'm going to have to go to the battle for P3 because Frome is four tenths behind Bugatti, and that racing point. He's going to get past it. What's Bugatti going to do? I think Bugatti's going to be pitting this lap. No, he just lets him through. Has he got any damage? Or... Well, I don't know. Here comes Lordy on Jamie. Not close enough to go for it there. He don't get the run. Boomer, where is he? He's not close enough. But here comes Lordy. Lordy down the out round the outside for turn one. Bit of lag. Kick just about. On the grass, he's got the move done. What a move from Lordy MK. He's driving out. He's driving the race of his life at the moment. P5 in an Alfa Romeo. He's going to be well happy with this. If he can keep this going, he's going to be on for a really good result. But here comes Jamie. Not going to be giving this up. He's definitely coming, going to try and go down the inside. He can't. What an entertaining seven laps this has been. My voice is. <coughs> <coughs> It's already started to go. And we're only six, seven laps in. Will any of these guys play? We got Juho getting past LR Speedwood. Oh! Juho Finn spun! And did he have contact with JP? I think he might have, because those two were side by side into there. Ugi versus Sutty. Bugatti 5. Oh! Oh! CC Brain! CC Brain! 
that bad. This race is going from bad to worse to utter crap. So how I can pretty much explain this race. Jamie this time. To the outside for turn one on Lordy. Can he get it done? No, he can't. Lordy defends well. But Jamie's going to come round the outside. But he can't get it done. Look at the gap the leaders have at the front. Well, where's Bugatti come out? Bugatti's come out in fresh, clean space. 18 seconds behind the leader. I'd be interested to see what he could do. We've got 18 seconds there. That's what I've watched it. Jamie corner cut in there. Quite badly. We've got Frome now on the back of Bliss. Could fly in Frome. Possibly take a win at the owner of Racing Points. Home Grand Prix, the Canadian Grand Prix circuit. La Lawrence Stroll. Throw pits. And the guy, he's already gained a second this lap. This is going to be well close. Here comes Jamie Warren Hay gets the penalty. Lordy up second. Jamie down the inside. He's got the move done. Great move from Jamie. He's going to quick his brakes so he's cutting the grass. He's being a lawnmower for us. Boomer going to try and get through now. Side by side McLaren versus Haas. And McLaren is through. Now where's Bugatti? Bugatti's undercut from. What an undercut from Bugatti. He's pulled off a masterclass. Throat gets a penalty. What an undercut from Bugatti. Throat. He's going to be absolutely furious. What? Oh, Brain is out. CC Brain. No words. That's all I can say, really. And Bugatti's going to come out in the lead, surely. Unless there's some sort of VSC where Bliss pits. to see what Bliss is going to do. Bliss dives in. Will this be for a set of hards to commit to the one stop or a two stop on the meds? We just don't know. I'll be interested to see. He is going on the mediums. But he was doing a very solid job in the McLaren. Great drive from him so far. Bugatti fastest lap. Where's Bliss going to come out? In comparison to Bugatti. He's going to come out miles behind. He comes out behind the racing point of Frome as well. Bliss by staying out that long has not only lost first he's lost second as well. I'd be interested to see what the guys in the one stop could do. The guys in the one stop are going to be a right forward in the side of these drivers but Gatti stuck behind Warren Haig. Expecting to get the move done out of this corner and on the run up to the next corner. Gatti with the DRS. Warren Haig defended. Is he going to go around the outside but Gatti versus Warren Haig? He can't get it done. He's going to get a switch back. See, look at Frome. This is what I mean. When the cars... When the cars who are on the two-stop comes out... They're going to be stuck behind people on the one-stop. Bugatti around the outside. Warren Haig. What a move from Bugatti. Even get this done. What a move from him. Now to see flying Frome. He's being pushed onto the grass. It's Warren Haig. And here comes Frome. Frome's going to get past... Warren Haig. Can he get past Bugatti as well? He's going to try and go to the outside. Or the inside, in fact. No, he can't. This is gonna be quite a. Re this is gonna be a really good race. I've got. I've got a gut feeling. The top eight on lap eleven is separated by six and a half seconds. This has been the closest it's been in FP for a long time at this stage of the race, and I'm getting well too excited over it. But why not? Lordy, oh, yellow set to three. Ella Speedwood. Ella Speedwood. He's been it in all the champions. He's not a champion. He's just a baller losing his will, and he's out of the race. Well, we see a safety car of some sorts. I'd love to see a safety car. It's my, I think my bloody... F oh, hold on. Didn't realise what my notifications were on. And currently, Lordy lead about 1.8 seconds at the front. It seems to be going perfect for him as Jamie gets past Boomer. 
the guy gets past Sophie. Action all over the place. Here comes Boomer back at Jamie, possibly. Card gate done. All of this currently is favouring Lordy. Look at that, 2.2 second lead at the moment. And he's going for the one stop, surely. And we're getting reports, Lordy has a DRS failure. He has a DRS failure. So when he needs to overtake cars, he better hope that fixes before he comes out of the pits. Because he's going to be stuck behind cars, he won't have any boost to overtake them, or possibly defend if he has to. See Bugatti now on the back of Jamie. Down the inside comes Bugatti. Jamie gets well out of the way of him. And he gets in the way of Frome. Frome losing out to Bugatti. As Jamie gets in the way, but Frome next straight, nice and easy. Waves bye bye to him. Jamie picking his fights wisely, and Frome is one of them. Down the inside comes Bliss. Oh, Bliss is the wall. Is that front wing damage for him? It is. Red Bull front wing damage. Bliss, bottle job. Bottle, bottle, bottle from him. Bugatti gaining already on Lordi at cap 1.7. And I know Bugatti and Lordi are good friends, so will there be any tactics here to let Bugatti go and hold Throm up as much as he can? Or could we see Throm and Alfie come together? We just don't know. Tom AJ, interestingly, on the hards in P8. He's going to be going to the end, from what I assume. Unless he bolts on a set of softs and just goes for it. Got to wait and see. Gaps 1.2 in front. The guy needs his DRS. He needs Lordy's DRS. I think he might have it. He might just have it. No, he don't. He don't have it. So here comes Frome. Can Frome get past Bugatti? No, he can't. And Lordy stays out another lap. And Bugatti gets a time penalty as well. And the guy he's got nothing to defend from. He's got a flying throw. And man, he's flying. Round the outside, he goes into turn one. The guy he holds it. Side by side to turn two. Round the outside. And the guy he just holds on. Just about. Got Yeris in set. The three is Dino. The Wall of Champions came in another victim. And so he just goes right for him, he don't care. But here comes Bugatti and Lordy. Bugatti just slide down the inside, nice and easy. And Lordy crucially has to stay in Bugatti's DRS now if he wants to stay ahead of Frome. I imagine Lordy will pit at the end of this lap for a set of the hard tyres. Oh, Lordy don't have DRS though, does he? His DRS is broke. So Lord, poor, no, is, is it back? He's going back. It's back for him. I imagine Lordy will be pitted now. But here comes Frome. And he stays out, Lordy. And he almost loses the rear. Here comes Frome. Ruby gets a penalty for speeding the pits. Side by side, turn one. Lordy just holds on. Frome not giving this up. He can't afford to get let Lordy stay ahead. And you know what? Throw is ahead. We've got Yellow's inset the three. we got Sati off at the hairpin. How the hell has he managed to do that? I just don't know. Magical from flying throw. But now, Thought, if I was him, I'd box in at the end of this lap. Because he's got ERT Bliss. Possibly going down his inside. He backs off, but you know what? He's going to get a much better run than Bliss. And Sutty DNS, so we're down to 13 now. DNS for and how he's not had a saved car yet for the amount of DNFs, I don't know. And both of oh, the DCFC guys out in the space of two laps. Terrible luck for them. And it is what it is. But guy, um, Lordy has to pit for Sophie Pits. Throw! Pass it Alfie, side by side, oh Alfie always losing it, what, Lordy Pits, Lordy Pits, 
thrown into the lead of the Canadian Grand Prix. Gatti in the Toro Ross, I mean, looking to get back ahead of throw. What a move, though. Where's Lordy going to come out? He comes out. Will it be behind Boomer? Will it be ahead of Boomer? It's going to be ahead of Boomer, I just think. Just about. Lordy, crucial for his race. Goes deep. With Boomer. Boomer's through. Oh, that could have cost Lordy. But this is about we have to watch the battle for the lead of the race. Flying throne versus Bugatti. Lock it up into the hairpin, does Bugatti. But with the DRS, he's going to have a lot more speed and throw down this straight, despite the, the deficit of the engine power. Throne is getting away. The guy has to up the urs because Throne is in overtake and is still pulling from him. Because he's going to wait for out of the wall of champs. Throne gets a very nice run through there, to be fair to him. It'll be interesting to see what can Lordy do on those hards. Can he undercut these guys? To put the gap to into from the back on. Boomer and Tom AJ. Tom moving late. Around the outside goes Boomer. He can't get it done. He had to cut the corner. Bit naive from Boomer there. Tom AJ, he won't give you any space if you don't have to. Man, a very aggressive driver. I have definitely known that. We've got Bugatti still there, tucked up in Throne's DRS. He'll be looking to get past one slight mistake, and I'm sure Bugatti will pounce. To be fair, these medium guys are going to be coming to the end of their stint soon. Got Boomer and Tom AJ battling away still. Will Boomer try one move up here, into this corner here? Apparently Throne's hit the front, uh, hit the wall. I'll have a look at that in a sec. Oh, Bugatti's through into the lead. Has throw got front wing damage? No, front wing looks fine on stream. Might be a bit of damage we can't see. Got to go down to Lordy, Boomer, Tom AJ now battling for the podium. Not the podium, sorry. P7. Down the inside goes Lordy, risky. Oh, oh my god, he could end up in the wall. Very lucky man. There's a lot of front wing at that wall of chance. He's a lucky man not to be in the barriers. Bugatti throw him. Throw him has no front wing damage for what him seems. But interestingly, even with damage, Bliss is still keeping up with these guys. And here comes Flying Throw him in the race. And point Bugatti leaves the door open. And Throw him gets the move done into the lead of the race. And there's no chance for Bugatti to come back there. Wait, is, is Uki going for a move or Uki going for a move on Warren Haig? He is his dad now. This is about what I want to watch. Tom AJ versus Boomer versus Lordy. Have to watch Boomer. Because Boomer is going to have to run here into turn one. To the outside. He's got the move done on Tom. What a move from Boomer. The F7 driver. Lordy trying to come down the inside as well. He can't get it done. Let's see the captain leader, 23.8. Lordy is losing time to the guys he is battling. And he's going to be getting a bit fuming behind a boomer on the grass there. And it's going to allow Tom AJ right back through. Lordy gonna have to come to the outside. Flying throw gets another penalty. Oh, almost hits the back of throw. Gonna get a much better run though from taking the deeper line. 
And now this is a battle between Boomer and Lordy. And you know what? Boomer's not even fighting. Boomer knows this is battle to lose. And he lets Lordy go. He gets a penalty for speeding the pit lane. Now Lordy has to get past Tom AJ. And Tom ain't even defended as well. Lordy down the inside. He's got the move done, is he? Tom trying to fight. And he can't. Lordy up into P6. And now he has to push here. It's crucial for his race. He has to push. Will Bliss coming to get a front wing change? Just, I don't know yet. I reckon Lordy needs to be a P4. If he gets a P4, he'd be well happy with his performance. I just want to check Bliss's penalties though. Alright, so Bliss had one penalty. I didn't think he'd pop. I don't often check penalties, but I had to. Just want to see how Bliss's grip is into the water champs. Looks pretty good, so Bugatti's interesting dropping off throw. Has he got damage? I don't know. Or throw just quicker at this stage of the race. Fair Bugatti will be pitting sometime soon. And he'll be aimed to get out just ahead of Oogie. He has to push this lap. He has to push as Oogie pits, so no worries of him getting in traffic now as his teammate pits for this race. Whereas Sophie interestedly going a long way on this meet on these mediums. Is she going for a set of soft? She seems to go quite slow, so is she struggling with some sort of maybe a puncture on the way? 20 laps on a set of medium seems very long. I don't know why she has to do that. Got yellows in set the one. Is it Juho Finn? It's Juho Finn! Living up to his name is Juho Spin! Spin in his car. Get out of his way. The interval is half a second. Boomer still keeping with Lloyd's fair. Boomer's doing an amazing job. Got yellows and set the one. Juho Finn becomes Juho. Uh, it just stays as Juho Finn there. Not Juho, anything else. As Bugatti pits, throwing pits. So Bliss inherits the lead of the race. See, thrown. Bugatti's got a five second stop. Go. Oh no, this, this could be crucial. He could come out right behind Lordy. Where's Lordy? And where's Bugatti? Bugatti. Come down the pits now. He's got to get ahead of these guys. He comes out just ahead of Lordy. That is crucial for his race. Lordy half a second ahead of Boomer. He's going to have to stretch these tires if he wants to go to the end. And Sophie on the softs. That is a long, long way to go. Over double the distance of what people were doing on the softs. I don't know. I don't think, I think she's going to get a puncture. I don't think that's the right strategy call in my opinion. Lordy hits the wall. Oh, is that damage for him? It's a terrible run, though. That's what I can say. And Boomer not going to die down the other side. Seems a really risky strategy, to be fair, AMS. I don't, I don't recommend it. Lordy hits the wall again. That's, that might be front wing damage for him. No front wing damage. See you. any other this is really one of the main battles to watch along with Sophie, Oogie and who is it? Sophie, Ugi and Jamie. Steven doing a good job despite lagging out. Bliss Pitts, but did get front wing. 
uh, not front wing, five second penalty. And here comes Boomer to the outside for the Water Champs. Boomer sticking his car there, risky. And he can't get it done. Bugatti with another time penalty now. I don't know, can Steve run to the end? It's, it's very risky. 30 laps on this. No, 27 laps on the same mediums. I don't know if you can do it. If you can, well done. If you can't, unlucky. Steven just comes out behind, or this comes out just ahead of Steven there. So good for his race. His, he'll be on a charge now to try and catch Lordy and Boomer. He needs to be careful. He, has he still got front wing damage from earlier on in the race? No, he repaired it. So he's got a full front wing now. As he'll be after them. See Lordy just ahead of these guys and Boomer gets not the greatest run to be fair now Bliss is going to be trying to come at Boomer yeah yeah all right here comes Bliss getting past Boomer nice and easy Boomer gets a time penalty and now Bliss going to try to get past Lordy, Honda versus Ferrari, he's getting, uh, he's getting close, but not near enough to go for a move just yet. So if he gets past Jamie, I'm expecting those, those softs to die very quick. And Bliss, all over the back of Lordy, and it's risky for Bliss to do this. Bliss placing his car where he don't need to be placing it. And now it opens up an opportunity for Boomer to launch one down the inside, no he won't. But and throw currently leading by nine seconds as JP has left the lobby. Bliss can't get past Lordy. Corner cut in there. Bliss versus Lordy into the hairpin. Lordy just holding on. And with a switch back, Bliss is going to fly past. Throwing gets another penalty. Who's got the DRS? It's Lordy. So Lordy's going to manage to stay ahead of Bliss, I imagine. On this straight anyway. Look at that. Bliss got no chance. He did go through him there. Did he lag out? Has he lagged out? No way. Boomer pits. And Lordy's going to have to defend the inside here. Lordy up onto the podium so far. Holding that number three. He hasn't got a podium in almost three games and Lordy defending for his life Bliss plays this car where he don't need to and that's a bit naive from Bliss uh, if I was Bliss I'd be had that position right back don't get what he's trying and he, he hits Lordy and Lordy's off he's off to Viking Steven and Lordy's gonna be furious at him I feel Bliss, uh, I don't know, that's a bit stupid from Bliss in my opinion. It's a bit, uh, that's an iffy move in my opinion from Bliss. That's very iffy. And I expect Lordy to be sending that into the stewards. Has he got any front wing damage? Lordy needs to get back into the rhythm. I don't get rattled by that. And now can Bliss go after Bugatti? Eight seconds is the gap. Bugatti seems to be struggling for pace now. No battles now. Ugi on the back of Lord now Ugi fresh mediums eight laps to go Lordy could drop down to sixth possibly even seventh because Sophie's gonna be coming at him Lordy needs to get past Steven Steven on these hards for 19 laps oh god my headset just come off there sorry about that
Open the DRS. Ugi can't form an attack just yet. Ugi already made one big mistake this Grand Prix. Absolutely taken out CC Brain. So I expect if he gets reported, there will be a penalty. Must probably go in here. So we got Tom, AJ, and um, Jamie. And Tom, nice and easy. Arts himself into P8. This is good from him. Where does Steven go? Steven. Man, no, we're booming fast as that. See. Now, Uki, down the inside of Lordy. No, Lordy won't let him go. I reckon Lordy's getting a bit rough. Um, bit. What's the word? Can't remember the word. Uh, it's not that big of a deal. A bit rattled in the back of that. I'm in the cockpit of the car now. Be interested to see how he's doing. Here comes Uki Azim. Lordy defending into the wall of champs. Round the outside goes Ugi, and Ugi's got it done. Lordy with a poor run. Oh, he's in the wall. He's got no wing. Oh, he's going to be furious with himself. He was on for such a good... <coughs> <coughs> he was on for such a good result. And he hits the barrier. And look at Viking Steven. Viking Steven, 21 laps on a set of hards. What a drive he's putting. Still got Uki behind him. How much he's missing his end plate, front left end plate. Expect him to box at the end of this lap. This is why I have to watch Uki versus Steven. Here comes Ugi. Can you get it done? No, you can't. A bit too far back. Lordy gets a penalty as well, so his race has gone from bad to worse to even worse. Poor him. He's gonna be raging himself with that mistake. One half Rome's doing now in the lead. This gets another penalty. This has got another penalty. I'm not sure if that's nine seconds or six seconds. I don't know how many penalties Steven has, if he has any. Currently, if he has no penalties, he's on for a podium. After lagging out at the early stages of this race, Steven could be on for a master result. But Ugi trying to find a way past him, he can't. He's going to go to the outside for the hairpin. Ugi Azim ahead of. Viking Steven. Steven stays back and is going to wait for the DRS. As he should fly back past him on this straight. Oh, you don't have the DRS? Has he got DRS failure? He has a DRS failure. I haven't seen Sophie pop up many times for penalty, so could Sophie snatch a result from out of nowhere? She's got four laps to hold on to what's going to be sh terrible tyres. Sorry about that. Steven. 23 lap old tyres. DRS is back, so I don't know how he's not. What? Oh, 
car there's no battles now on track if you have any questions for me feel free to ask I'm sure you'd like I'd like to answer them because there's no battles now unfortunately see the guy how's he done any front wing damage or no let's, let's give our let's give the lead of this race a bit of TV time And Ash, it's not my decision to be giving mods back, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to give that a no. Because I'm not allowed to give mods out. Although, I did give myself mod. But we won't talk about that. I'm just in a world of his own. The only thing that can stop him now is a punk jaw, some front wing damage, a red front wing. Let's see, Let's just watch him for a little. So you got a battle form between Lordy and Ray Bay. Not gonna lie, I expect Lordy to launch. Bliss gets another penalty. But look how far they've fallen back. And Lordy gets past Dre. Dre's out of the points now. So we'll just go back to this battle. Or not this battle, just the leader. Imagine if we see Frome hit the wall and that suspension wiggles off. I think I will go mental in the comms. Dre gets a time penalty. See on the back of Lordy. Or was a lap down are they? It's tough when you almost go a lap down. Imagine the confidence not that must give you. See all Sophie on the back of Viking like, Stephen. Twenty five lap old tires of Stephen now. They've got to be well near the end of their life. Could we see Sophie launch it? Drop a nuclear bomb on Steven. Just send it down his inside. Just, I don't think we will. Couple laps to go now. Still want to watch the leader throw him. Flying throw him. Flying flying throw one of the most one of the oldest people on PSGL site it looks like at the moment if he can do one more lap of the Canadian circuit will take a race victory here at FP this be a masterclass of a drive from expect I expect to see him in a slow car next week but it's not my decision there he comes throw him into the final chicane to start his last lap we got Sophie off second behind Mike and Steven. Can Steven hang on for what could be a very good P5 after lagging out? Tom in DRS as well. We've got about Warren Hay getting a time penalty, but he's absolutely nowhere at the moment. Oh, Stephen on the grass day might be feeling the pressure. This is about we have to watch. Can Tom launch one? Sophie's tyres are going to be knackered at the moment. I just need to see where Frome is. Frome, he's going to be coming into the world of chance for the ta final time. He better not bin this. Flying Frome. Been a masterful drive from him. I've got nothing to say, but congratulations on what is going to be an amazing win here in FP for the old man. Fly throw wins. Got Yellow to set the through. It's thanking Steven. He's round the wrong way. Oh, God, no. God, no. God, no. God, no. Has he spun himself? Has he got a puncture? I don't know, but he's round. 27 laps on cards.
Bliss comes over P3. Where's Oogie going to come over for? It's going to be P4, it seems. P... No, who gets the podium? What about Tom AJ? Can Tom AJ get on the podium? Tom gets fourth. Bliss down to fifth. Got Yates and set to three. Don't know who he thought. But Sophie Sto slows down Magic because she had contact with Stephen. Sophie let Stephen go. As Sophie... Oh, I didn't even know JP was in the party. Oh, crap. Um... Jamie because over knife and then Lordy will get the final point in P10. 11th will be Jaime. That was a very, very good race. What a race that has. That's been the best race of the season, in my opinion. I'm just going to invite the podium. So, throw, throw. Giazim. Well, hopefully we can see the podium. Hopefully I haven't missed it. Well, what an event for Canadian Grand Prix. Your winner, Flying Throne. Second, Bugatti. Third, impressively getting no penalties. Ugi Azim. Fourth, Tom AJ. Fifth, ERT Bliss. Sixth, Boomer. Seventh, F1 Sophie. Eighth, Viking Steven. Ninth, Jamie, and rounding out the top ten, a disappointed man, Lordy MK. Eleventh, we've got Raybo. Twelfth, we've got Ron Haig. Then yeah, we've all got DNFC from Juho Finch, Sati DCSC, Dino D Ten DCSC, LR Speedwood, CC Brain, Blue John, and Cliffy Seven Seven Six Five. You didn't even DNF. He got a disqualification. Hopefully the top three do join the party for the podium interview. We've got one in at the moment. Someone I'm quite used to speaking to on a Saturday night. Let's see, you know what? Megat, you will start with you. Make sure your voice is not allowed to be shared. Oh, no, we won't start with you, Megat. Sorry. Oh, well, cool. we'll start with Flying Frome. Frome, can you make sure your voice is allowed to be shared, please? Yeah, it is. Alright, so, just give us a rundown of your race, Frome. Oh my god, it was just crazy. Uh, I can't even remember who I passed it. We just, I was just trying my best to stay with Bugatti in the first half because he was flying through traffic on a two-stop with me and just, I was just diving past people to try and stay with him. But, yeah, I think, did, did you have wing damage or something like that, it, it, like, you seem to drop back after your second pit stop, so it will be mm. plain sailing after that really, but yeah, he's just put in chat, I think that Merc engine's a bit OP, <laughs> just sailed past him every time. Yeah, well, of course, what, what was your um, ambitions coming into this Canadian Grand Prix? Uh, well, I've been struggling on this game, I've dropped two divisions and like, you know, just been really slow, but for some reason in F4 and just Canada in general, I just seem to have a bit of pace, so uh, yeah, we're kind of hoping for a podium anyway, but I didn't think I'd win it, but yeah, pretty pretty happy. It's been a few seasons, I think, since I've won a race. Yeah, well, last question I got for you, um, France next week, what's the track like for you? Um, I've only done it once and I crashed out after a couple of laps, so oh. I don't really know, to be honest, so Looks yeah, very it's kind fun, of a new one for me, but we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Yep, well, well done on the win. Cheers. And hopefully, for the sake of it, we see you in a slow car next week. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> um, second place, man. I'm usually commentating with you on a Saturday night, and you're having to think of questions at this stage, but for once, you don't have to. We got to eat. Good. Just, um, what could you have done differently that race to possibly stay ahead of throne? Ah, I reckon as much could be honest, except for probably a few, a few stupid warnings. But I think the thing that really, you know, put the nail in the coffin for my win was the five-second stop go. I got over going 51 mile an hour, so 
it was unlucky, but yeah, I don't really think there was much else I could do because that Mercedes engine. I think he's gained about seven tenths on me in the last sector every lap. <laughs> and got when that's the case, I can't, I can't make it up. Uh, there's no way I'm gaining on him. Yeah. Um. Do you think you could have done a one stop, possibly starting on the medias, and possibly could have brought it to throw him that way, or reckon that was out the window? No, because I don't know if you saw by the end of the uh, second stint, my tyres overheated, and I lost. I think it was about a second and a half in the uh, on the one lap. And also to do the one stop, you have to hold up the cars. And once again, going back to the engine, I don't think I had much hope of keeping him behind. If uh, if he did get in my DRS, or even if he wasn't in my DRS, he's still going to go flying past me. So the two stop was definitely the best chance I had, but a second place wasn't bad, so I'm not too disappointed. Yeah, I just want to check the standings real quick from last week. I just want to see where it places you two so far. So before I move, ask you a final question. Um, here we go. I'm just looking at the page now. All right. Uh, come on, please find it. I think it's oh, the only points I've got. Oh, it's not been yeah, posted so. on the Twitter. It don't help. Oh, I was going to ask, what could this do for your championship? So I'll start with Frome. <laughs> not much. I think I'll last, so yeah, it might have moved me up a few places, but yeah, I'm definitely not thinking about championships. I'm pretty slow on this game, so yeah, a few more Force, in force Indias I might do over here, though. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, um, Frome, yep, yeah, that's your first. Oh no, the standards have not been updated since Australia on there. So <laughs> that's something you'd like to hey, see. Honest. Yeah, well, congratulations on your win and congratulations. Actually, no, Bugatti, what's France like for you? Uh, well, I think, did I make my FP debut in France? Well, I think I did. And that was a, uh, a spectacle. I think I was in that five car battle for half the race. But I have good memories of FP in France. But I've got a feeling this is my chance in the Toro Rosso. So I think I might be back to a Williams next week. So I don't know. And I don't think the Williams will be very good at all around the front. So I think it might just, no matter how good I am at the track, I think it might be a lonely race in the back for me. Fair enough. Congratulations on your second place. And moving on to Ugi Azim. Ugi, can you make sure your voice is not allowed to be shared, please? Okay. Uh, nowhere to be seen. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. We can hear you now. Is your voice allowed to be shared? Yes, I think so. All right. So. Yeah, it does double check. Yeah, it All right. So of course, um, came out of nowhere that podium. I didn't. Mean, you did have quite a mental collision with CC Brain, was you expected to get back up into the podium after what seemed to be a I, terrible mistake from you? Yeah, I did not, I was kind of pissed off at, well the whole CC and Dane were coming together and they just took me out for the heck of it, that was mental, but I uh, did not expect that podium at all, and uh, happy with it. Yeah, well of course, Canada, um, as Bugatti said, you're both in Toro Rosso. How was she coping with that engine? Uh, the engine was quite bad. Like, I'd have to be really close to the other car to make sure I got the overtake. Otherwise, if I was like a uh, couple of car lengths behind, it was impossible. Yeah, fair enough. And I've asked this question to everyone, so I'll ask it again. Um, how's France to you? Uh, France, I suck at. So, really not looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough, so that is done. Congratulations on the podium, Ugi. It shows what you can do if you don't get any penalties. Okay. So that has been PSGL FP round four. I've been Lickle. Thank you for watching, everyone, and good night.